Good afternoon. Damage reports are coming in from the Little Bear wildfire near Ruidoso, and it has caused massive losses. 234 structures have been burned, and officials expect that number to continue to rise. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is in Ruidoso with the latest. Yes, Diane, the structure damage estimates jumped by about 80 structures last night, and 224 out of the 234 lost our homes. The fire grew a little more than 1,200 acres overnight. It's now burned more than 37,000 acres and is 35% contained. Calmer weather conditions the past two days, plus more than 1,000 firefighting personnel have allowed crews to make more progress as damage assessments are being done. Officials say they are working on compiling a list of homes that were destroyed and matching them with homeowners. Uh, we also plan to uh, publish a number where affected homeowners can call and get information. So okay. we know these homeowners want this information as quickly as possible, and we're working very quickly to get this information to them. Since this is a very sensitive issue, officials are coordinating services to help those who will be notified. One thing they're also working on is where people can go with their animals. As they're struggling with everything else they have to deal with, that we can provide some support avenues for them for their uh, large and small animals, as well as chickens and goats and everything else that everybody considers part of their, their animal family. A federal all-hazard team is also coming in to help with damage assessments, and they'll also help notify those homeowners of their property conditions, but they want to make sure all the information they have is accurate and that everybody receives it around the same time. Back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. Officials say they hope to publish that phone number for people who call about their homes by sometime later today, but they couldn't give a specific time when they will start notifying people. We will, of course, pass along that information just as soon as they release it. This afternoon, the president is expected to sign a bill that will provide money to buy up to seven new large air tankers. The White House says the bill will support the nation's ability to fight wildfires by enabling the fire service to speed up the contracting of the next generation of air tankers. The House and Senate passed the measure last week.